This weekend, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office <coughs> arrested two individuals for the murder of Camilla Urita and the attempted murder of Liston Georges III and Liston Georges IV. The murder took place on Monday, October 7th at 4.39 p.m. at 5885 Edenfield Road, which is Charter Landing. The victims were inside their car, leaving to go to work, when the suspects pulled up behind them in their car, blocking them. Satan Adair Waller walked up to the victim's car and shot them, then drove away. Waller was driven to and from the murder by Herod Joseph. And this is the one, if you'll remember, Camilla Eureta was killed, Liston George III was critically wounded, and Liston George IV, the 10-month-old, was unharmed. They'd actually lived in the apartment at that complex for less than two weeks, and we believe the reason for this is that there was an ongoing feud which stemmed years ago back from high school between the surviving victim, Liston George III, and the uh, shooter in this case. Waller did not confess, and Joseph actually confessed to his involvement in the crime. And I'll say his name. Uh, first suspect is going to be Satan Adair Waller. He's 19 years of age. He's been charged with murder and two counts of attempted murder. And the next suspect is Herod Joseph, who's also, who is 19. He's been charged with principal in the first degree for driving the shooter to and from the murder scene and never reporting it to the police. And I'll take any questions that you might have. Dana Train, from Times Union. Um, the, you know, the narrative, it says that the weapon was found at a house on Rojero Road. What was the connection with that house to these individuals? Um, we, we actually had an individual that um, basically, um, I'm, I'm trying not to get into all the investigative details because I kind of wanted that to come out at the court, but basically we had somebody who presented us with a murder weapon. They brought it to you. It will. I, I wouldn't say it was voluntarily given to us through our investigation. We had it. We, we, we found that information, or we actually got that handgun. You got the handgun at that location on Rojero Road. On the, yes, if that's what the arrest that, booking report says, yeah. and I think it does, yes, yeah. sir. That's what it was at. What are the circumstances surrounding that view? Don't, don't really know the uh, details of the extent of what initiated it years ago in high school. It was just an ongoing view that was, uh, I guess, the suspect in this case decided to settle this day. It's been continuing since it, then. It's been a continuing thing, an ongoing thing. And really unbeknownst to the victims in this case, um, they moved into the apartment complex and they had been there less than two weeks uh, when this happened. So, in fact, uh, the suspect was actually living upstairs and they were living downstairs. Any other questions? Yes, I'm Chris Moyer, Channel 4. What's, do you know Liston's condition right now? I don't. I just know um, he was I mean, he was he was shot that day. Okay. Um, I don't know his, his, his uh, medical status or anything, but we expect him to survive. Matt Augustine, uh, WOKV. So they, they lived above, or are there neighbors in this apartment complex? Yes. Okay, that's correct. Kind of made it sound like they had moved to get away from this guy. No, not at all. The uh, victims in this case had moved into um, the address of 5885 Enfield Road, um, and they were actually living downstairs. They weren't like directly above, you know, one the suspects living above. And then they were neighbors. Below. But yeah, they were neighbors. Gotcha. Any other questions? Do so you know what high school they went to? I did not. And the, the child is in whose care right now? Um, I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I mean, I'll, I'll get that information for you, but um, the child was safe and unfortunately. All right. Thanks, Chief. Thank you.